Measuring what we see and intend to draw is sometimes easy and sometimes impossible. For example, if we were drawing a tree and we are drawing it from a photograph, it would be easy to use a ruler and measure its width. But if we were drawing it from life, it would be hard to measure. Using a pencil or a stick or a knitting needle or a brush to measure is a great idea and skill to learn and it is called proportional sighting. When measuring, you should sit or stand in one position and should not change it or else the measurements would be wrong. You hold your drawing tool with your arm extended and your elbow locked. You look at the subject, the tree in this case, with your pencil in your line of sight with one eye closed. Your head is tipped or tilted towards the shoulder of the arm holding the measuring tool, in this case the pencil. You take a sight line where you look at the top tip of the pencil and it is aligned with the right edge of the tree. Then you take a sight line where you look at where the left edge of the left side of the silhouette of the tree is aligned on the shaft of your pencil and move your thumb to mark that point. Now you have a measurement of the width of the tree. Then you compare it in relation to other things that are in the subject matter using this measurement like how many widths of the tree would make its height and you can take that ratio to proportion and use it to draw the tree on your paper with the right proportions. You can use this unit of measurement to determine other landmarks or places in the drawing. For example, you are drawing a human figure and you use the proportional sighting method and get the unit of measurement by measuring the head. Now using that, you can determine how tall the figure is and other relationships in the drawing. For your assignment, you will draw a simple subject matter of your choice using the proportional sighting and comparative measuring method. You will draw one drawing every day. If you have got any value from this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more.